Hello, Doris. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the first half of February of 2023 spiritual advice reading. For this reading, I've been guided to the Black Tarot deck by Victoria Iva, and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. We had a couple cards jump. This one first, Ten of Pentacles. All right, Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Someone's hard work is paying off. Just like I feel for Aries. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. And if you've been waiting for your ship to come in here, Spirit saying some Tauruses may just have to wait a little bit longer. Now there are many reasons for this, but Spirit's just confirming this with the major arcana, the Hanged Man card. Having the strength to continue to put one foot in front of the other while you um, observe uh, what unfolds before you here. Not really taking much action. Now in the relationship sector we have the Page of Swords. That's been a common position as of late. So communication coming from someone here, though it may take until mid-February of 2023, is going to bring the clarity that this Taurus has been seeking. In the creative aspects position, we have the five of spears, fears, spheres, and or <laughs> pentacles or coins. Basically, this is worry about money. Now, we need to remember not to do so because what we do is we darken our aura and we repel money and abundance from coming in. And that's why Spirit's saying in the center of the reading, have faith that there will be a light at the end of the tunnel with the ten of pentacles, that your ship will come in through communication with someone here. Okay, so in the actions position, we have the Ace of Cups, another very common card as of late. So the Ace of Cups represents a gift from the universe in the form of a path that will grow and overflow with peace, joy, and happiness. Some here, they put some passionate energy, went on three dates, dated for three months and now there's this realization of wow you know this has developed and now we can start taking action to create this new path in love that is blessed in the emotional aspects position we've got the six of wands so this is about looking at um continuing to focus on okay well, I'm getting a lot of downloads. Okay, it's the worry of money that's kind of blocking this brand new path of fulfillment in the area of attention and recognition with the Six of Wands. Oof, someone's getting in their own way. Subconsciously, we have the Page of Wands. So see, the communication is coming and Spirit's saying, remember, this is in your subconscious position to trust and have faith that the communication is going to come um, it may just be sitting in someone's thoughts and they haven't taken action to come towards you. But worry not. Your hard work is going to pay off and bring you good recognition. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position during the first half of February of 2023, we have the Eight of Swords. We have a uh, Taurus here who is feeling stuck or trapped. But Spirit's saying that card is a figment of our imagination. If you are not feeling like you're receiving enough here, or even if you're able to give enough here, that's why Spirit's saying you need to take some time out. Reflect on this communication. We have someone who has like communication with sword energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini in the relationship sector, but in the subconscious position, we have the Page of Wands, fiery energy, Sagittarius or Leo. So someone may be thinking about one or the other. Someone here may be feeling stuck or trapped in a situation uh, with the Eight of Swords and the uh, Page of Swords with air energy, wanting to go into the direction of communication here, but feeling stuck or trapped in some way in the inner strengths position we have the nine of cups energy so have the strength to continue to make your wish come true to let something unfold to build a more solid foundation until spirit offers this beautiful cup a new path in love a renewed path in love i'm feeling like this is someone new they may not have come up come in at the very beginning of february but let's see there may be communication
around the 12th for some Tauruses. So I'm going to confirm and clarify in a three card summary with the same black tarot deck. And I'm gonna quick just grab my coffee, one moment. Much, much, much better. Okay, so in a three card summary, we have now the page of cups. So kind words and messages coming in. Messages that have to grow and develop a little bit more. Four of Cups energies, that's been a popular card. What is being offered to me? Is this a full cup? Is this an empty cup? Six of Pentacles. Uh, this is the contemplation of a balanced connection. Is the, this the offer, person, situation, circumstance that I want? Okay, Queen of Cups, that's been a popular card as well. Uh, follow your intuition, Spirit saying, with the Hanged Man energy, give something some time to unfold. Eight of Cups, some may be contemplating going away from a person, place, circumstance, situation because of the Devil card. Okay, so Page of Pentacles. Um, Someone is feeling stuck or trapped in a business or organization and spirit saying, reach out if you have been trust that a message is coming that you're going to be very passionate and excited about. It will be a path of overflowing fulfillment and it'll feel like a wish come true. So hang in there until it does. So yes, an offer with the Wheel of Fortune, an offer of money with the Six of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune is the wheel turning in your favor. So three of cups, the celebration of the nine of swords. No longer do I have to worry about a business or organization for someone is working with me to put me in a better paying position. All right, so I'm going to confirm and clarify these messages with the Lenormand deck by Chiro Marchetti. Please confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed for whichever Taurus needs to hear this information most during the first half of February of 2023. So this card jumped out. <clears throat> we're starting off with Spirit saying we're offering this Taurus this beautiful magical golden bridge to bridge you into the direction of forward movement, into the direction of your ship coming in. Trust and have faith that Spirit's helping you to kind of just hang in there, take a moment of pause and reflection as to how far you've come. Because uh, eventually there is going to be some form of meetings, negotiations, communication with another. Now it could be that uh, someone's waiting through the first half of February 2023 to finally connect and plan uh, for something near the 20th. I feel like there could be communication on the 12th that makes someone think about meeting up, maybe going to a job interview or something around the 20th. So let me know. In the relationship sector, we have two doorways. Okay, the truth with the page of swords energies. Which path, which doorway is in my highest best good? Which is the most victorious, truthful direction I should go? And spirit saying, devote yourself to taking action to cross those bridges, to meet up with different people until an offer comes your way. Continue to devote yourself. Do not worry and fear about money because you will block yourself and keep you stuck in that eight of swords energies day to day. In the actions position, we have this beautiful magical golden compass and the ace of cups. So spirit, there's a, many things I'm getting now. In the actions position, if you're taking action to make a wish come true, to travel or go into the direction of meeting up with someone here, it's your devoted energy to what you are creating for yourself, whereby spirit's going to uh, bring clarity. I'm getting like closer to mid-February for some of you. There are signs regarding an offer here that feels really, really good. It's in the area of business but could and or per personal, okay? But Spirit's saying watch for the signs. We're guiding you into the right direction, into the direction diagonally of a wish come true with the Nine of Cups. So here come kind words and messages attention, recognition, communication, that makes uh, the Tauruses feel pretty darn good. So in the subconscious position, if you're unsure as to when another doorway will open, Spirit's offering the moon to represent hope. They're saying trust and have hope that there is some unexpected quick action type communication here in the area of home, family, business, or even passion 
for some, but there needs to be some form of freedom or the realization that eventually you are going to be free as a result of some form of communication or paperwork, kind words and messages, wanting to meet up and contemplate and decipher, should I devote myself to this path or the other? Now that could be personal as well. In the inner strengths position, we have the wish come true card with the four leaf clover card. OMG. So spirit saying, uh, those of you who give yourself a chance to meet up, connect, share your talents, your skills, whatever you're working towards, now's the time. The four leaf clover energy is uh, a path that is lucky and blessed. It's a wish come true and there's a realization for some here of this wish. Something around the 20th. Okay, so I'm going to just close. I could really get deep on this reading, but uh, we'll keep it short. This is the Guardian Angel deck by Dorian Virtue. Oops, if I can shuffle. I've got carpal tunnel in both wrists, so pardon my uh, messy shuffle. Overall closing message for Taurus, please, during the first half of February of 2023. Okay, we had another one jump. Five of emotions, so they're getting back into uh, energies of unfulfillment. You know, only focusing on who or what you knew of and not opening yourself to what or who can now be. There's a masculine here kind of begging from another person and she is unsure. Now the card says, forgiveness is an important part of healing, forgiving yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can now move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life, so ask your angels or those you love to help you move through the process more quickly so that you can get back on this path to joy whereby spirits trying to guide you so those who've gone through difficulty here comes a blessed and lucky path a wish come true and boom the ace of swords look at that we have the ace of cups creating and taking action of emotional fulfillment and then the ace of swords saying that the time has come to congratulate you for your new ideas, for your new opportunities. There is something truly inspiring coming before Tauruses, even if it takes till the 20th of February. So good luck with that. Should these messages have resonated for you or you would just like your own personal energy read, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one half hour videos and they are a one month, three month, six month or yearly video and my price list will be in the box below this video. Uh, I, uh, along with the beautiful comment section, I am still offering the winter special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25. If you'd like to give that a try, that is a one month video reading as well. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and for those donations. Take care and God bless.